I am Ahmed Daud and in this session we are going to discuss recall and precision. So in the last session we have discussed accuracy and confusion metrics and we have seen that accuracy is not always a good measure to evaluate some model. Then we have seen confusion metrics and confusion metric is not a such a measure and it cannot give you a single score like accuracy was giving. It is just the way of presenting the values how much or how many values or how many number of samples are true predicted by the model and false predicted by the model or you can say confusion metric is the way of representation of models predictions okay how many uh, mod, uh, model has done how many true predictions and how many predictions are done uh, are uh, the wrong predictions by the model okay you can visualize uh, the uh, values in that way okay so uh, confusion matrix is not giving you a single score to evaluate to assess the model how much your model is good so in today's session we will see recall precision and the third one f1 score so we will uh, continue our the example uh, the last example that we have discussed where the accuracy was failing to uh, evaluate the model so here first of all what uh, what is recall so before that we have discussed that according to the accuracy accuracy is giving us here 80 percent score okay uh, in the case of that dumb model okay in the case of dumb model okay so now how recall can uh, can assess the model in more precise way in more uh, good manner so what is recall actually recall is uh, how many uh, predictions are or how many uh, uh, out of all the positive samples in our data set how many samples are out of all positive samples how many samples are predicted as a uh, positive by the by your model or in other words you can say ratio of positive instances that are correctly classified by your classifier okay called as recall recall also uh, sometimes can uh, uh, be called as true positive rate and sometimes you will see that uh, sensitive also can be used for the name of recall okay so these terms are uh, simultaneously people are using recall true positive rate and sensitivity so out of all the predictions out of all the prediction uh, sorry out of all the positive instances you have in your data how many you have positive instances true positive and false negative you should you will see your confusion matrix here predictions on this axis and actual values you have on this axis okay so here these are the number of positive instances you uh, we have in our uh, data okay so this will be considered as a false negative and this will be considered as a true positive okay so if you will add true positive plus uh, false ne negative it will give you all positive instances okay all positive instances in our data set that we are using to evaluate our model to assess our model okay uh, usually we are using the best data set okay so here how many samples are predicted as a true positive out of all positive instances this is actually the recall okay how many samples are predicted or predicted as a positive as a predictive as a positive by the model out of all the positive instances or you can say correctly classified so this is the formula for the recall true positive divided by true positive plus false negative okay so according to that if we will see here how many this model has predicted as a true positive so there is a zero prediction as a positive so 
to be positive will be zero and how many uh, your model has predicted here negatives but false so there are two negatives there at this place three fifth at this place and this one and this one these are the predicted as a negative but actually these are false so there are two so recall will be zero divided by zero plus two which will be zero here you can see here you can see your recall is zero it means your classifier has zero percent score zero percent recall score by the recall you can judge your uh, classifier that how bad is your classifier accuracy is saying 80 percent uh, giving you 80 percent score and recall is uh, giving you the zero percent score for the dump model you got an idea that uh, how uh, good is recall to use when uh, we have these type of scenarios when uh, our accuracy is not giving you a, a good measure okay so we usually call uh, we usually use recall as a measure okay so I, I, it is clearly zero percent score is clearly explaining that our model is done okay because we have very bad model here okay but now the here uh, the story will not end the recall is not always a good score okay we will see the case where recall is not a good score okay now consider a case when we have our model is predicting all the values as a positive means here you have a positive classifier it is also a dub model it is also a dumb model okay it is also a dumb model and it, uh, uh, whichever sample you will pass to that model uh, to that classifier it will classify as a one one class so what will be the score of recall when it will classify all the samples as a recall so here you will see how many are true positives here so first of all one two three four fifth this one and this one these are the uh, uh, predicted by the model as a positive and these are actually these are the positive so these will be considered as a true positive okay so how many uh, samples are predicted by the model as a negative okay there is a zero sample that is predicted by the model as an active zero sample and how many false positives you have here there are eight samples that are predicted by the model as a positive but these are actually not okay but false positive measure or far positive uh, value is not in the formula of our recall when you will use the recall formula according to the recall formula how many you have done the true uh, how many true positives you have to how many you have false negatives you have, will have zero false negative because you your model has has not predicted any value as a negative so it will be zero so your uh, score will be one or means 100 percent here your recall is saying that this model this model is according to recall is very good model very good model or very good classifier but actually you have seen that it, it's also a dumb it's also dumb okay so you got an idea that single recall you cannot use here you should have some other measure uh, that can resolve the problem that we are facing here okay so we will go towards the precision this will be the another measure that we will discuss now so precision is uh, is you can say the accuracy of the positive predictions or in other words the true predictions out of all the positive predictions by your model okay uh, like in the case of uh, we were having here 
this is true negative and this is negative but false in the case of recall we are considering just these parameters or these values okay according to the recall we are just considering the type 2 errors okay uh, this is the formula of recall true positive plus false negative we are considering how many uh, predictions or how many out of all positive instances how many our model has predicted as a positive okay or uh, our model has correctly classified out of all positive instances okay we are just considering the type 1 error here or sorry type 2 error type 2 error here you can see okay but how precision work precision say that how precision will be calculated in this way how many how many uh, predictions how many positive predictions are correct out of all the positive predictions by your model okay your model has predicted these samples as a positive okay as a positive these are the positive predictions by your model so precision will be out of all the positive predictions how many are correct how many are correct are correct you can say or how many are true okay your recall will be this one okay this is the concept behind the formula and the formula will become of uh, here you can generate formula from here how out of all the positive predictions by your model out of all positive predictions these are the total predictions total positive prediction by your model how many predictions are correct so there are these this will be the formula here you are considering the type 1 error okay in the precision you are considering the type 1 error but in the case of recall you are considering the type 2 error so when you will calculate the precision for that model uh, here you can see okay so if you will calculate the precision for this model for this term model which is a positive classifier positive classifier it's a very dumb model here you can show it here dumb model so according to precision how many true positives here just two two true positives and how many false positives you have eight here and uh, here you will have two over ten and it will become 0 0.2 or you can say 20 percent now recall is saying that this model this dumb model according to recall this dumb model is uh, recall is saying that this model is good okay but precision according to precision this model is bad it's bad okay because it is giving precision is giving 20 percent score here okay so you can get an idea uh, recall you cannot use only recall in uh, all the cases you have to use precision also okay now precision is not always a good measure okay you have to use both recall and precision in all the cases okay uh, you can also dodge the precision in which way you can dodge the precision if you will see the formula of this the formula of the precision you can get an idea it is just considering the type 1 error if you can dodge the type 2 error if you have very high type 2 error it will not get okay you can see here let's say uh, we have a model that will give just one true positive prediction just one let's say we have uh, we have uh, this test test, uh, test data set in which we have actual 100 samples are zero 100 samples are zero 
and 50 samples are one okay so you have used a mod, uh, model or classifier here you have used a classifier which has done just one which has just done one prediction as a one okay it has classified just one sample as a uh, positive and 149 samples as a negative but the sample that is a, it is it has classif classified as a positive it was it is actually positive it is true positive so here you will see your true positive will be one your true positive will be one here and uh, your false positive will be zero because you have not done any wrong prediction regarding the positive intent instance okay you have your model has not predicted any instance as a positive but it is not uh, your model has just predicted one sample as a positive and it was also so how many you have done false negatives and how many you your uh, classifier has predicted as a uh, true negatives okay so out of 140 uh, 100 will be true negative and uh, 49 will be false negative okay now you can see that here uh, your type 2 error is your type 2 error is very high your type 1 error is very low here okay when you will use the precision formula and precision according to precision true positive divided by true positive plus false positive so according to this 1 over 1 plus 0 and it will give you 100 percent accuracy you have seen that your model has done just one prediction as a true uh, prediction but precision is saying that this model is very good although it is having a lot number of type 2 errors according to the recall if you will calculate the recall for the same case according to the recall it will be true positive divided by true positive plus false negative and here 1 over 1 plus 49 yep and it will be 1 over 50 and uh, what will uh, it will become here uh, yeah it will be just two percent 0 0.02 or you can say just two percent your recall is saying that this model is uh, just uh, it, it is giving two percent score it means your recall is saying here this model is very bad but recall is saying this model is very good which has done just one true prediction okay now you cannot use precision and recall uh, separately and you cannot uh, or you will not be satisfied just uh, by having high precision score or uh, in the case when you have just high recall score you should have both scores or you should have considered both scores because recall consider just uh, the type 2 score and precision is uh, considering just the type 1 score in the formula you can see okay in the precision formula you are just considering type 1 score so you have both scores precision and recall and on the basis of precision and recall you can uh, you you you, uh, you can say if your model is giving a very high precision some person is uh, will uh, come to you and uh, will say that you, uh, uh, his model is giving a 90 percent precision so you should ask him that at which recall your model is giving 90 percent accuracy okay so uh, you uh, you should use precision and recall both measures when you are evaluating your classifier okay so here we will discuss some cases so precision and recall when uh, you have no comp compromise on the false positives then you should have precision score uh, you should have high priority for the precision okay let's say for the cases when you have no compromise on the false positives let, let's say you have a, a classifier which has to detect 
which has to detect safer videos for the kids so if this this classifier will uh, detect uh, some uh, videos as a negative means it, it detect that these videos are not safer for kids but these are actually safe so this will become false negative so if your this classifier will predict some uh, videos as a, a safer for the uh, kids but these are actually not so this this error is more dangerous as compared to this error in that case okay so here you will care more about the uh, false positives and you want that your false positive should be minimum as much as possible so you will consider precision and sometimes it it's also in the requirement of uh, our problem that we have in uh, in some uh, cases or when we are doing some project we have a problem and in the problem we have a task that we need like a 80 percent or 95 percent precision okay but it does not mean that 95 per uh, percent precision at zero percent recall we should have recall also okay it, it's the it, it, this scenario will be the same that if we are caring about the false positive it does not means that false negative uh, should be very high okay our false negative will, will be very high we are satisfied we are not we will not be satisfied uh, we should have false positive as much as uh, small and false negative should also be small but we are caring more about the false positives okay in the other case when we are uh, we have no compromise on the false negatives okay then we will give the high priority of the recall score we say that we should have high recall score let's say in the scenarios when uh, let's say you're a classifier here you have a classifier which has to detect which has to detect uh, shoplifters on surveillance images so if your classifier uh, will detect some uh, uh, shop uh, some persons as a shoplifter means positive but these are actually not and if your uh, uh, this uh, classifier will detect some uh, persons as not a uh, uh, shoplifter but these are actually these false negative so this will be more dangerous than this in our case in that case so here you will uh, will care more about the false negatives uh, as compared to false positives so you will consider recall score as a high okay so sometimes uh, uh, it is in mentioned in the requirement this amount of recall we want like we want 80 percent recall we want uh, 90 percent recall we have in our requirement then we have to uh, uh, we have to achieve our 90 percent recall and also with the highest precision okay in the same way sometimes we have a uh, uh, in the problem statement that we we can't compromise on the false positives and we should have high precision like we wa uh, we want zero false predictions false positives okay in that case we will have a high precision like 95 percent precision and uh, uh, this will be our target by a, and this is also in the re uh, requirement of our project so we will achieve 95 percent uh, precision and by having highest recall score also okay so this will depend on the project of uh, which score we want there okay so if if the case when precision and recall both are equally important when we cannot compromise on both errors type 1 and type 2 errors then what what uh, what we should do okay either we have to use both scores or either we have some other measure so here the story of f1 score will start okay if we care uh, for the uh, precision or in other words if we are uh, we, we cannot compromise on both errors uh, false positives and false negatives no compromise on both false positive and false negatives then we can use f1 score okay so uh, 
it is often convenient to combine precision and recall uh, into a single metric called F1 score. In particular, if you need a simple way to compare two classifiers, the F1 score is a harmonic mean of precision and recall. Okay, so F1 score is a harmonic mean. If you know about the some uh, uh, means, harmonic mean, geometric mean arithmetic mean then you will have an idea about the harmonic mean if you don't have uh, uh, it's not a big deal okay uh, uh, the formula of f1 is simply this one uh, f1 uh, 2 into precision into recall divided by precision plus recall now f1 score will be high in that case here you will have a formula of f1 and we can discuss this formula Precision into recall divided by precision into oh sorry plus recall. Okay, so if you have both precision and recall high, then F1 will be high. Okay, so if precision and recall both will high then f1 score will be high okay otherwise it will be not high it means that if you have high precision but low recall then f1 score will be low okay let's say you have high precision uh, let's say 0 0.9 and you have very low recall like a 0 0.2 let's say and it will be here 0 0.9 plus 0 0.2 and uh, it will become one we will see here 0 0.33 percent here you can say as your precision is very high here precision is very high but your recall is low your f1 score is also low okay recall uh, your uh, f1 score will be high in that case when you have both precision and recall are uh, having high let's say uh, let's say you have a high this is the just the ideal case we always not have like this if you have both precision and recall as a one means 100 percent accuracy of both so it will become in that case it will become one one or you can say 100 percent okay so in that case you can see your f1 is 100 percent when both precision and recall are high this is the nature of formula of f1 or you can say it's also nature of harmonic mean that when both uh, values will be high then the f1 score will be high so if uh, both errors uh, type 1 and type 2 errors are both equally important and uh, you cannot compromise on both okay so there is not uh, such type of scenario that we are discussing here okay so both are equally important and you cannot compromise on both so then you can use f1 score to evaluate your model how good is your model and if you uh, have to uh, you cannot compromise on false positives then you can use uh, precision as a high priority and if you cannot compromise on false negative then recall will be your high priority and uh, it's also depend on the uh, problem statement or the scenario or the requirement of a project how much precision or how much recall or how much f1 score we want okay okay here uh, the same uh, uh, the data we have here true values here we have predictions and here we have pr uh, probabilities for the class one so if we want uh, we want to calculate the uh, scores of recall score or precision score or f1 score we can calculate here directly by the escalon and if you want to code it uh, to uh, play with the these formulas you can do it. it's not a big deal okay so here or uh, if i will show you here for the recall and precision score you can directly import from the sklearn dot matrix and uh, here will be f1 score should also be here yeah f1 score should uh, will be uh, in the below section yeah here it will be so you can import all of them f1 score f1 score uh, precision score and recall score, uh, score from the sklearn dot matrix okay 
and then you can simply use here recall score your true values and your predictions it will calculate all the confusion metric and the uh, and by using formula it will give you the recall score here the recall score is 16 uh, percent if you will calculate the precision score you can uh, directly use the precision score by sklearn it will give you a 0 0.38 if you want to use uh, a calculate f1 score you can calculate f1 score and it just pass two values and uh, the uh, predictions it will calculate the precision and recall first and then it will by using the formula of f1 score uh, taking the harmonic mean of precision and recall it will calculate uh, the f1 score 0 0.23 okay this is the provided by sklearn if you want to do uh, like uh, calculate the f1 score by yourself it's uh, just the same let's say here Uh, 2 into precision into recall precision into recall here will be precision plus recall and here you will pass the values like this is the precision uh, recall 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 and here will be the values of precision Precision and precision and it will give you 0 0.230 okay it's up to you you can uh, uh, do it by yourself or you can use the uh, function provided by the scalar okay so I hope uh, you have learned a lot uh, in today's session so we have discussed Rika precision and f1 score these are very uh, important metrics and we are uh, we are evaluating our models in uh, almost all the cases and in, in, in the project scenarios in the problem statements we are uh, using these measures to evaluate our binary classifier so in the uh, coming session we will uh, see some more measures and some uh, we will analyze our errors or our scores from different angles so far now thank you